Good morning, everyone. Well, I've got a video for you. I should have shared this a long time ago, but this is about defending your relationship. To what lengths would you go, Lynn? As much as this was a uh, serious situation, at the same time, in retrospect, funny and also, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not heartwarming. Um, gratifying maybe is the word. I can't really put my finger on the word. But anyway, this is how the story goes. We are off at the wet market and it's a big wet market. And as we go through, I'm at that stage where I'm still trying to pick up not the language itself, but the inflection of the conversations that are going on. And interestingly, there was a, a lady boy and his mom standing sort of in the main corridor. And this is an open air market, right guys? Uh, the stalls are under, but everything else is open. And there's a guy in a stall that's talking back and forth. And then they, and I've got my back to Lynn. Lynn's looking at her stuff and I'm just doing the looky-loo thing. And this guy says to me, you understand what you're saying? And I'm saying, well, I'm kind of picking up inflections. I, I, I'm slowly learning some of the words, you know, so I can put it all together. I will never be that guy that understands the language fully, but I understand the flow of the conversation. And anyway, all of a sudden Lynn walks by me and she goes straight up to the guy that was talking to the, the mom and lady boy. And her hand, I swear, comes from her ankle and swam across this guy's face. And he's just like totally taken back. There's a security guard over there. And I don't know why, I looked at the security guard and he didn't move. And I'm going, whoa, because all I'm thinking is, oh, we're going to jail because I've got this Western thing going on in my head still. And... Uh, Lynn's just barking at this guy and this guy's standing tall and I swear Lynn was only maybe, maybe a foot difference. She was that close to this guy who stood at least, oh, at least a foot maybe taller, maybe 10 inches, you know, that kind of thing. And then she's barking at him and barking at him. Meanwhile, the lady boy and the mom, they're gone. Other people have given this bigger bubble. <laughs> And then this poor guy decides to try and defend himself. And Lynn's hand came up again and wham across the face. And he stood there and just took it. Now, let me digress for a second here to tell you about the Philippine culture. That guy knew not to go anywhere. You could see it in his eyes as Lynn was lifting that arm from her ankle again for the second smack in the face. He knew not to do anything. He was raised of that culture where you just suck it up and take it. And boy, did he take it because the red marks, I think the fingers matched. She hit him with a full open hand. <laughs> And I'm like shitting bricks because I'm figuring we're going to jail, man. I keep waiting for that guard to move and that guard's just keeping an eye on it. But he didn't do a thing. And again, that goes to the root of the culture, right? They revere their children there and they teach the males where they are in the ladder. And that is to defend the women. Where was I in all of this? <laughs> right? I'm like, huh? Oh. Because, <laughs> yeah, it all happened in maybe 30, 45 seconds, right? I mean, it was not a long thing. But, I, well, you can tell by my voice here. It took me back. Oh, I was like, if that happened in North America, first off, the guy would have pushed her, right? Maybe not laid a punch on her after getting slapped so hard, but for sure got some distance away and probably would have pushed her. And isn't that why we love the Philippine culture so much? Isn't that why, like that's just a small example 
of what is rooted in the culture. Wow. Like I was just totally smoked by this. <laughs> I mean, absolutely smoked. But at the same time, it resonated with me to, and we had other instances as well where Lynn defended the relationship, okay? And again, blew me away. Absolutely blew me away. Partly because I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> but still, she got to a boiling point where she just took charge of the situation and put that guy right where he was supposed to be. Shut your mouth, you miserable piece of shit. That was the message she was trying to get through to him. Don't take up this garbage, and this is where the defense came in, that he was calling not the lady boy, my wife, a lady of the bar. Good on her. But again, it goes to the culture. He sucked it up and took two right, it felt like right from the ankle, wham! <laughs> she put her whole shoulders into it, guys. Her whole shoulders. <laughs> it still makes me laugh. Okay, guys, that's enough for this one. Later, Gators. And I'm like shitting bricks because I'm figuring we're going to jail, man. I keep waiting for that guard to move, and that guard's just keeping an eye on it. And they teach the males where they are in the ladder, and that is to defend the women. Where was I in all of this?